GDP in 2018 and made up 9% of the population. As demonstrated around the world, agglomerations are the engine of a global economy. The impact provides insight into how infrastructure plans and economic development policy should be directed to initiate or improve regional integration. By their very nature, cities are dynamic centers of exchange, innovation, and economic growth. They also provide platforms where people, ideas, and capital come together. Cities are one of the best forms of a powerful impulse to unite people. Rather than continue the fault lines of mainly cultural politics that is underway in Ethiopia now, cities will help converge cultures as opposed to merely coexist. Properly executed, agglomerations would bring economic activity closer to where the people are. And I have a few documented cases of evidence that I will skip over at this point. What I would like to talk about now is the most, most importantly what I would like to say is the impact that agglomerations would have on the nation is to usher in an attitudinal and structural reset where competition would be based on who is efficient, who applies research, who anticipates better the future, particularly in labor structures, markets and conditions to engage in career-focused, talent-related conversations throughout the country. It would help us build an Ethiopia where being young is not suspicious, where aging is not a problem. This, I think, is a goal worth pursuing. If we were to avoid making generations, future generations, uh, heirs of poverty. As I conclude this up, aspirational speech, and I'm skip, skipping quite a bit of material, I recognize little has been said about the resources required to accomplish this agenda. Yet, aspirations are not the domain of the wealthy alone. They are the undeniable part of the human drive. In every country, there are people who wish to become the masters of their own destiny rather than remain the captured qualities of some, somebody else. While competition and conflict among us may be inevitable, we can also assuage these problems by vision we set, by how those visions anticipate the future, and in what degree these anticipations bring people together for a common and shared purpose. Suffice it to, say, to state that what is important gets measured and what is measured gets managed for. In other words, stop stealing and provide funds for development. This is one vision we must consider, that the leadership of the country at all levels must countenance, and one that you in this room should embrace if we were to tell a positive story in 2050. Because achieving extraordinary results uh, over time requires commitment and foresight and accountability. We hereby declare at this conference that this occasion is the commencement of a new era and that we intend to hold ourselves accountable to those who come after us. I'll provide a copy of my statements to organizers and you should be able to have a copy of them. Thank you.